Well, I've hit the record button, so I guess we're away. Welcome along to the vlog, folks. Today is actually Tuesday night, so you're going to be a couple of days behind. Um, but I'm really suffering big time with the bursitis in the knee, as you may be aware. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get to work tomorrow, and of course we need a vlog. So what I thought I would do instead is just talk to you about a few bits and pieces that is going on in life at the moment while we prepare uh, tonight's meal which is going to be um, a chilli con carne believe it or not so yeah there we go so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, just prep up some vegetables and get them frying in the pan. Not with that knife though, that's a wrong one. We want this bad boy. Uh, so, yeah, I thought, well, why not bring you guys along for the ride and stone multiple birds, as they say, which is always a good idea. So I've been into work today and uh, I've spent quite a lot of time just trying to organise the shop, get it tidy because I thought that kind of work would be easy on the uh, easy on the leg, if you get what I mean. But it turns out it wasn't as easy as I'd anticip anticipated. So I did have a little bit of help. We've had this chap um, who's arrived in Retford last month called Adrian. I think I've mentioned him once or twice on the vlog. And uh, he came across from the Manchester area. I don't know much about his history. Um, and he came across for a job to work in mental health up at the local uh, Rampton Hospital, which is near us. Um, and because this poor guy was, you know, down on his luck, he'd come across for a job and they'd messed him around a little bit um, because he thought he was going to start straight away. So he'd given up his flat and uh, come across to Retford and ended up through no fault of his own, really. Well, maybe it is, but, you know, unforeseen. Ended up living in a tent waiting for this job to come through. So as you guys may know that uh, the brew shed, as was the old brew shed, remained vacant. We've not managed to rent it out since we vacated the premises and we're tied into a lease there until May of 2020. I think that's when it, it breaks anyway. So I said to this chap, you know what mate, don't want to see you sleeping in a field, why don't you stop in the uh, old brew shed, there's nothing much to it, you know, it's just four walls and a toilet if you like, so we put him up in there, uh, I didn't ask him for any money, because obviously he wasn't working at the time, and uh, there he stayed for about 20, 28 days, about a month he was in there for. I know this isn't usual practice guys for a chilli, but I'm adding beans to this one because I need to get them used up. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, he ended up stopping there for, for about a month and as luck would have it, like, uh, he was expecting to start his new job at the beginning of this month. So in the interim, he held down a couple of other little jobs. He ended up working for a local pub, not for us, for another one. And uh, we managed to rent out, we managed to rent out the old brew shed. So fortunately for him, he's now living at the pub that he's working for while he waits for this NHS job to come through. And we've now rented out our old brew shed, which is all good in the hood, as we say. 
Uh, but what Adrian does is um, he rocks up on his days off and he comes into the brewery and he helps me out for free. So when we put the wall up for instance, he helped me dig some of the footings out and he helped me fill fill in the footings after we'd finished building the wall and all that kind of stuff. But I've not put him on camera because, well I've not asked him really, but I didn't want to intrude and uh, I wanted the guy to feel safe in a safe environment and comfortable without everybody knowing his business and quite frankly I think probably one of the reasons why he's moved across here was to escape people sticking their nose into his business so I didn't I just took some ID off him so I know obviously who he was and I put him up in the old brew shed for a month but he comes in now and uh, like I say he's been helping me out today so long story short um, he came in today while I was trying to do a few bits and bobs and he was like well come on why don't we uh, why don't we move this and why don't we do that and this that and the other so before I knew it I've just gone in there to kind of you know tidy up a little bit and before we knew it we'd moved off of the hot storage we'd rejigged all the uh, um, what do they call them the metal metal storage cabinets that I had I was keeping the hops in them you see but they're they're just ambient, no good, no good for the hops. So we moved some shelving into one of the conditioning rooms and uh, put all the hops in there. And in the end, actually got bloody loads done. Never even anticipated it happening. Absolutely loads done. So that's down to Adrian's influence on us today. But the downside of that was the leg has flared up big time and I'm really struggling with it. You know what, I think I've made far too much here while I've just been talking. There's probably enough to feed eight there and I've not even put the beans and the meat in. I might have to freeze, freeze some of this and have it as a meal prep through the week. Oh, I may as well carry on then. So, um, yeah, because of today, the knee has really started to play up big time and the only reason I'm stood here doing this now is because I'm stuck full of uh, these little beauties and check these out we're, we're big time on the old uh, Cocoda moles so I've been popping these bad boys along with some um, ibuprofen and uh, couple of cans of cider to try and you know get some mobility back while I'm at home and it seems to have worked it's hurt me up a little bit if nothing else okay, so it's not all bad uh, but I'm worried now that over the next few weeks or at least over the next few days if I don't see a, a marked improvement in my leg then I think there's a distinct possibility that I'm going to struggle to get many projects completed at work and I may have to take a week out. So if that happens, obviously you guys are following me for a little bit of content. So if that's, you know, worst case Ontario, then we'll continue and uh, maybe do a few more videos like this just to be able to put the content out there. That's not really good, actually. So, I better not put that on, that's too loud, isn't it? I'll open a window. So yeah, I'm hoping that that will allow us to at least be able to put some content out on the channel. So I'm just gonna put some spices in now. So we're gonna have like, just over a teaspoon of cumin. I don't actually have any garlic cloves, so I'm going to go ahead and put about two cloves worth of garlic puree in there. Get that mixed in. 
get it fried up. Want some tomato puree, I could probably do a little bit more of that, but uh, yeah, there might be enough in here. Uh, maybe not. Probably do a little bit more. A tiny sprinkle of oregano. I'm not a massive fan of that stuff to be honest, so I don't want to go daft with it. A little bit of water just to loosen that up. Just like that. And then a sprinkling of paprika. I like paprika. We'll have a good helping of that. Oh, sod it. We'll have a tablespoon of paprika. I do like it. So I might need to go and get a little bit more tomato puree. We shall see. I've lost what I forgot what I was talking about now. Yeah, content. Anyway, so yeah, we've been doing obviously a few cooking videos recently and we've been expanding the content on the channel because we've been doing electronics videos, we've been doing welding videos, we've been doing plumbing videos, cladding tanks, joinery, shelf making, wardrobe making, there's pretty much everything going on on there now and of course the channel started off as a homebrew channel but um, I don't do much home brewing these days, I do commercial brewing but when we get the pilot kit up and running we'll probably be doing what could be considered home brewing when realistically it's recipe development but you know splitting airs there really aren't we so we will be doing um, home brewing or definitely more recipes if nothing else so I thought well why not just open the channel up to all of these different things and then something I've been doing at home with the kids is uh, playing around with cosmetics so soap making is something that is very similar to home brewing it's got a process that you need to keep an eye on it involves recipe development it involves nasty chemicals and it's something that I've been doing for the past few days with uh, with the kids and the Gemma we made some bath bombs which Abigail really liked and I've made some soap so I don't know why I've caught the bug but I seem to have caught the soap making bug so it's definitely something that I want to continue to do in the future so uh, yeah well you can join me for that if you fancy it folks right chilli con carne recipe baked beans how do you like them apples? That's a new one for you, I'm sure. It's what my mum used to do, baked beans. And then we've got all this lovely veg, all cooked up, ready to come out the pan. We'll stick that in this pan with those beans. Because what we're wanting to do now is fry a little bit of meat in here. as we uh, put the rest of the ingredients into that bigger pan. So we've got all the veg out of the way now. This is the meat. Just some minced beef or ground beef as they say in the States. Some ground beef. I'll just pop that over there. Just quickly wash my hands. Excusez-moi, monsieur. So, yeah, we've got the ground beef in there. We'll let that do what it's going to do for a minute. We've got all the other stuff in here. So I've also got some uh, washed and drained red kidney beans, of course. Has to go in, doesn't it? And a tin of peeled plum tomatoes. But looking at the amount of um, chilli that I've ended up doing, and the amount of meat I've got it might be a good idea to go ahead and get another tin of tomatoes to go in here otherwise we might be a little bit light on the tomato front anyway so yeah I just wanted to use this 
video opportunity to kind of just talk to you guys and let you know what my thoughts are, uh, where the channel's going to go, what my health is like at the moment. I mean, I feel good. You know, it's just the knee is holding me back a touch. So I may just have to have a week out just to get myself back on uh, on an even keel. And then when we come back, I'll be in a position to hit all these other projects. I am really keen to get this SS Brutech brewery off the ground. And the fact that Tom's building one at the same time uh, means that uh, I've got twice the amount of input going into what we're doing because he's taking all the advice in like a sponge from the community, as am I, and, uh, and we can lean on each other for all the technical aspects of building something like this. But I think you guys will be in for a real treat when we come round to uh, building the brew stand. I think that's going to be something that's uh, going to be completely new and refreshing for YouTube holistically. I don't think anyone's going to have built a brew stand like this on, online before. I know there is one similar at Cheeky Peak Brewery in Australia. I'm kind of plagiarising their design a little bit. Somebody sent me a link to it and I thought it was wonderful. But I've not seen one in the UK. Right, I'm going to go and get another uh, tin of tomatoes. Look at that, folks. Oh, yes. I'm going to get another tin of tomatoes. And I'm going to put some rice on. And uh, I'll come back. You know what? I think we might have this with spaghetti, not rice. I know it's not traditional, but hey. They broke the mould with me, let me tell you. So, yeah, we'll come back. We'll have a shot of the finished product. And uh, I'll probably just end it there, to be fair. I've waffled on long enough. Anyway, cheers for joining me, folks. I know I'm almost guaranteed your continued support from 99% of the subscriber base that I've got out there because you're all good guys and gals. Uh, so, yeah, I'm doing my best to get the content out. You know, there's nothing you can do about injuries, though, is there? So, I've got to look after myself first and foremost. But, big, big thanks to everyone out there for sticking with me through these tough times. Here we go then folks. As promised, I've decided that today we're having it on spaghetti. So it does look like bolognese. But trust me, this is the chilet con carne that we've made. And that, folks, is enough. And the battery's about to die. Perfect freaking timing. Right, hopefully there'll be a vlog tomorrow. We'll see you then.